Hi class, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I will show you how to find the antiderivatives of exponential, logarithmic, and trigonometric functions. Pero unahin muna natin yung exponential and logarithmic. So may tatlo tayong formula dyan guys. So una, we have the integral of e raised to x dx which is equal to e raised to x plus c. Then, pangalawa, we have uh, the integral of a raised to x dx, which is equal to uh, a raised to x over ln a plus c, where a is greater than 0 with a is not equal to 1. Okay? Then, pangatlong formula natin, we have the integral of x raised to negative 1 dx, or parehas lang siya guys kay integral of 1 over x dx. Okay? which is equivalent to the natural logarithm of x or the absolute value of x plus c. So let's have example number 1. So find the integral of uh, e raised to x plus 2 raised to x dx. So alam naman natin kung ang ating function is binomial, pwede na natin i-distribute yung ating uh, integral. Okay, so that is... The integral of e raised to x dx plus the integral of 2 raised to x dx. Okay? So, next is pwede na natin gamitin yung ating mga formulas. So, ang integral ng ating e raised to x is e raised to x plus c. So, pwede tayong hindi muna maglagay ng plus c since may meron pa naman tayong isang integral. Then, uh, to get the integral of 2 raised to x dx, yung 2 dito guys, that is our a. Okay, so meaning, i-apply natin yung kanyang formula na a raised to x over ln or the natural logarithm of a plus c. So in our case, ang value ng a natin is 2. So substitute lang natin yun dun sa ating formula. So we have e raised to x plus a raised to x, that is 2 raised to x, over the natural logarithm of 2 plus c. Okay, so ito na yung ating magiging final answer. Next, number 2, we have the integral of 3 raised to x dx. So, in this case, yung 3 natin dyan, that is our a. Tama. So, pwede na kagad natin i-apply yung ating formula for uh, a raised to x dx which is equivalent to a raised to x over ln a plus c. Tama? So, ang a natin is 3. So, that is 3 raised to x over ln 3 plus c. Okay, guys. So next, let's have another example. Number 3. Uh, the integral of 3 raised to x plus 1 dx. So dito guys, uh, by inspection, so malalaman naman natin na yung 3 raised to x plus 1 is the same lang guys ng ating uh, 3, 3 raised to 1 times 3 raised to x. Then dx. Okay, so paano ba nangyari yan guys? So in-apply natin dyan yung ating uh, product rule ng lo loss, of loss of exponent. Okay? So kung saan na pag nag-multiply tayo ng same base, ipagpa-plus natin yung exponent. So ni-reverse lang natin yung rule. Okay? So next is, since constant naman yung ating 3 raised to 1, so pwede natin ilabas yan sa integral. Then, ang may iwan sa loob is yung 3 raised to x dx. Okay, so next is, dito ma-identify natin na yung 3, that is our a. So we can now apply the formula. So which is 3 times... Um, times a raised to x over ln a plus c. So, dito ang a natin is 3. So, we have 3 times a raised to x, that is 3 raised to x over ln a, which is ln 3 
plus C. So, ito na yung ating magiging final answer. Nakuha? Next, number 4, we have the integral of 2 over x dx. Okay, so dito yung 2 is a constant. So, pwede natin ilabas yan. We have 2 times the integral of 1 over x dx. Okay, so may formula, may formula tayo for the integral of 1 over x. So, that is equivalent to ln of the absolute value of x plus c. Okay, so ito na yung ating magiging final answer. Nakuha guys? So next, let's have the antiderivatives of trigonometric function. So this time, we have six formulas. Ang first formula natin is the integral of sine x dx is equal to negative cosine x plus c. Then the integral of cosine x dx is equal to sine x plus c. Then yung pangatlong formula natin, we have... The integral of secant squared x dx is equal to tangent x plus c. Then we have the integral of cosecant squared x dx is equal to negative cotangent x plus c. Then pang lima natin, we have the secant x tangent x dx. So that's equivalent to secant x plus c. Then we have the integral of cosecant x cotangent x dx which is equivalent to negative cosecant x plus c. Okay, so let's have example number 1. So find the integral of cosine x minus sine x dx. So ang first step natin dito guys is distribute natin yung ating integral yung operator natin. So, that is the integral of cosine x dx minus the integral of sine x dx. Okay? So, ang integral ng ating cosine x based dun sa ating formula is equal to sine x minus the integral of sine x dx which is negative cosine x then plus c. Okay, so kung isi-simplify natin yan, since we have two negatives, so that is sine x, so we have plus cosine x plus c. So ito yung ating magiging final answer. Okay? So next, let's have example number 2. We have the integral of cotangent squared x dx. So, kung titignan nyo guys, yung ating mga formula ng, ng antiderivatives and trigonometric functions is wala kayong makikita ang cotangent squared x. Tama? So, meaning, kailangan i-rewrite muna natin yung ating uh, trigonometric identities na cotangent squared x sa ibang uh, trigonometric function. Okay? So, pwede natin gamitin yung Pythagorean identities so, alam naman natin na yung cotangent squared x is the same lang, guys, ng ating cosecant squared x minus 1. Tama? So, kung isa-substitute natin to, so we have the cosecant squared x minus 1 dx. Okay, so distribute natin yung ating integral. So we have the integral of cosecant squared x dx minus the integral of 1 dx or dx na lang. Okay, so ngayon meron na tayong formula for uh, cosecant squared x. Tama? Ito yun. Which is equivalent to negative cotangent x dx. So, pag kinuha natin yung integral nito, that is cotangent x or negative cotangent x. Then, the integral of uh, dx which is x plus c. Okay? So, ito na ngayon yung ating magiging final answer. Nakuha guys? So, next, let's have example uh, number 3. 
we have tangent squared v dv. So, uh, same same reason guys. So, wala tayong formula for tangent square. So, kailangan i rewrite natin yan to other trigonometric function. So, si tangent square v is the same lang yan guys ng ating secant squared v minus 1. Okay, so we have uh, secant squared v minus 1 dv. So, distribute natin yung ating integral. So, that is the integral of secant squared v dv minus the integral of dv. Okay, so ang integral ng ating secant squared dv is tangent x. Okay? Then minus, ah, since v yung ating variable, so we have tangent v minus the integral of dv, which is v plus c. Okay? So last example, number 4, we have uh, the integral of sin x over cosine squared x. So simplify muna natin yung ating uh, trigonometric function. So that is, sin x over cosine x tama then we have another cosine x then dx okay so ang ginawa is finactor lang natin yung cosine squared x so same lang yun ng ating cosine x cosine x okay so, alam naman natin na yung sin x over cosine x, that is uh, may trigonometric identity tayo dyan, which is equivalent to tangent x. Okay? Then, yung 1 over cosine x natin, uh, may reciprocal tayo dyan, which is secant x dx. Okay? So, kung mapansin nyo, sa formula natin, meron tayong integral of tangent x secant x. Okay, so nandito yan, which is equivalent to secant x plus c. So therefore, ang integral ni tangent x secant x dx is secant x plus c. And ito na yung ating magiging final answer. Naintindihan ba guys? So, this is the end of our video. I hope may natutunan kayo. So, if you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them in the comment section below. So, thank you guys for watching. This is Prof. D. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!